this week's video, we are going to be playing hide and seek in coffins for ten thousand dollars. Oh. oh! I don't know if I'm excited or nervous. You should be nervous. Okay. You guys have five minutes to hide. Go. Five minutes. Oh! Go. Oh! Go. Oh! Oh! Go. oh. So I see this mannequin over here, and I'm gonna put it inside a coffin. This is a lucky coffin. This is definitely gonna throw her off. Booyah. Just like that. Now I have to go find a hiding spot. Okay, so I feel like she wouldn't pick one of the first coffins, so I think I'm gonna do this one because like it's in the front, and I feel like she's not gonna go for these ones, hopefully. Oh yeah, this one's nice and spacious. It looks good. Pearson, here, you can come hide in my coffin. Why would I do that? Because all the coffins are being taken. Hurry up, get in. There's literally 40 coffins. Okay, so Brent is over in that coffin, and I'm gonna hide as far from him as I can. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this coffin. What they don't know is that this is actually gonna be an extreme game of hide and seek, because I have a bunch of tools to help me find them, and I only have 10 minutes. All right, so all I know is I'm definitely winning this. I just don't know what coffin is. I like to look at this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, I wanted that coffin, bro. What do you... I already picked this. I came to the mental decision that I wanted this coffin. I mean, you could be on top of me. All right. Bro, stop, stop. What? You're way too big, bro. Just look at, go to another coffin. Dude, this dog. one was calling my name, bro. All right. See you in the afterlife, my brother. We're running out of time, so I'm probably just gonna hide right next to Andrew. Next time I step foot out of this coffin, I'm gonna have $10,000 in my pocket. See you guys later. Okay, is everybody in their coffins? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Let's pick the first tool. <laughs> Cinder block. All right, I am now picking up the cinder block. All right, this coffin is screaming my name. Whoever's in this coffin, good luck. Three, two. Oh my God. What just happened? That was literally right next to me. Shoot. That was close. That was terrifying. Who just died? Jesus Christ. I think she's taking this challenge a little bit too far. If the first one was a cinder block, what other tools does she freaking have in here? Oh. Nobody in here. All right, next tool. Axe. These guys are gonna start wishing they were dead. Is this a toy axe? Uh, yeah, that's the only one I could find. Okay, well, let's try this anyways. Since I already threw a cinder block at one of the coffins in the first row, we're gonna, you know, go for the second row. I don't think this is gonna do much. Hopefully nobody was in that coffin. Holy crap, what the heck was that? All right, this is useless and I don't think anyone's in there. All right, time's running out. I haven't found anyone yet, so. <laughs> Chainsaw. I am, um, I'm actually really nervous for this one. Everybody, I am about to pick up a chainsaw. A freaking chainsaw. Are you kidding me? Ch Did I just hear that? Did she just say chainsaw? Lexi and a chainsaw is not a good combination at all. is crazy. She chainsawed Pearson's coffin. I would have ran out of this coffin so fast. Oh my god. Pearson just got out. I wonder if she's hurt. There are still three people remaining, so let's pick another tool. Alright, this balloon is not popping, so... Is everybody seeing this? Is this a prank on me? Alright, after all this balloon put me through, it better be a good tool. Pickaxe. Okay, that's a pretty good one. All right, let's hope someone's in this one. Okay, if anyone's in here, I'm counting down from five. Five, four. Oh my God. Who did this? <laughs> what did Paul Carl? Who put a mannequin in one of the coffins? I think she found a mannequin. Let's move on. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh, subscribe. This may not help me find them, but it'll help me get to 10 million. Let's see what's next. Drug dog. I think this one might expose some people. Well, it was nice knowing you, Andrew. <laughs> I think I just heard drug dog. I'm screwed. I'm actually screwed. Okay, I'm here with... Scrappy and Charlie. Okay, and uh, this is a drug dog, right? Sir. So you think she's gonna find whoever's in these coffins? What do you think, Charlie? Yeah, she's got it. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh! Hi! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh, she's um, attacking Brent, me. She's did attacking me. Did you have drugs on you? No, she's 
attacking me. Oh my god, I'm getting attacked by a dog. What the heck? Here, here you're coming with me. I don't have anything on me. Where are you taking me? You, sir. I'm going to do a full cavity search. Oh. Okay. Jeremy and Andrew, I am giving you 15 seconds to switch coffins right now if you want to. Honestly, I'm confident in my coffin, so I'm definitely staying in here. I feel like this is the coffin. This is the winner. I mean, I picked it for a reason in the beginning. Like, I can't change my mind now, you know? I feel like Jeremy's going to switch coffins, though. I gotta be back. What the heck happened over here? She literally has a chainsaw through that coffin right there. What the heck is going on over here? If that was me, I'd be in some trouble. This is my new coffin. I'm running out of time. They just switched coffins, so let's pick another tool. I'm going for this one right here. Giant scissors. I like the sound of that. I tried this coffin earlier with a rubber axe, so now I have a better tool, so let's find out if someone's really in this thing. What in the world was that? I would have definitely killed someone if they were in here. Alright, let's move on. Here we go. A thermal gun. I think this is gonna get someone. So what this does is it picks up heat signatures and it shows you where it's coming from. Andrew and Jeremy, I'm probably gonna find you right about now. I think it's game over because I'm too hot, guys. What I tell you, I'm just so sexy and I'm getting picked up by the gun. Okay, this was Brent's old one. But they did switch coffins, so maybe... Oh, crap. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> What? Yo, that's not even fair. You're using a thermal gun. Jeremy, you can't sweat this much. It picks up so easily. Yeah, it was hot in here. I'm sorry. They were telling me I lost because I'm too sexy, hot, humble, marvelous, and no. all that. Jeremy, it would have picked up anyone. It's like a, it's like. Nope, a... nope, nope. Would have sleeved off there. I'll see you guys later. All Peace right, out. whatever floats your boat. We have three minutes left. I'm tired of playing games. What does she mean she's tired of playing games? Right now, the time's going like the slowest it's ever been in my whole life. All right, so I obviously don't know where Andrew is, so I think it's time to bring in the big guns. Guys, I have no idea what she's up to, but I've been like in here for a while, I'm, like sweating. Didn't I win already? Is everybody out? Like, what, what's going on? So this is a hearse driver. He knows coffins and dead bodies better than anybody else, and I need your help to find Andrew. No worries, I already dug his grave. All right, let's do it. <laughs> He's definitely not in this one. Obviously. Do you even do this as your job? Hmm. I think he's gonna kill me. <laughs> Andrew, if you're really in here, I suggest you say so now because what happens after this is not in my hands. Two ladies coming for me now. Oh, see ya, Andrew. Rest in peace. He's in a better place now. Thank you. Well, I guess we'll never know if he was in there. 